they said the police uh, personnel um, directed uh, the gun at the person, the victim, and then uh, he shot him directly with a rubber bullet. So, uh, we, as you can see from the images and then the video, you have the rubber, um, uh, the, the cup of the rubber bullet uh, in the blood with um, a dust out which one of the guys tried to clean up the blood with, but it wasn't enough. So, we are still uh, following up on the issue. We don't know whether the fan is um, still alive, as we are hearing unconfirmed reports that um, he has passed on. But we are still waiting for official confirmation because the police left with him in the ambulance. So we are still waiting for the police to, to confirm uh, for us um, the, whether he's in six hands or truly he's passed on uh, from the reports we are having. Now, Kelvin, just for clarity's sake, you are saying that, you know, eyewitnesses say yes. that this, this, this gentleman was shot up directly by the police. Yes. According to them, the police were trying to move, uh, protect the barricade um, uh, after the players and then uh, some of the officials had left. So the fans were still eager to get into um, the uh, mix zone and have access into the dressing room just to make sure that they have their own way of dealing with uh, the referees uh, who officiated today's game. And when, uh, in that attempt to try and move the fans away, uh, the, 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 he, he, just, he just directed it at uh, the guy, according to eyewitnesses, that it was a di directed at him. Whether he was trying to pull it up and shoot, and then in, in, in the process of um, directing it, it shot him, we can't confirm. But eyewitnesses about, I spoke to um, five different persons, some who have moved away from the scene, some who were right uh, there on the scene, and then they, they, they told me in plain language that it was a direct shot. So it means that um, the police officer aimed at his victim and then decided to shoot him. Now, earlier, you know, inside the stadium during the course of the game, there have been some disturbances yeah. um, with some fans, you know, expressing displeasure at a decision taken by the referee. Run us through that. Well, um, it was, it was, it was um, a red card to Empem Da Costa. That is a second book of all of fans. Um, the fans were not pleased with it because um, what really was um, evident to most of the fans who were watching the game was um, Kwame Adam Frimpong having a bit of a tussle with uh, that is a uh, Jonah Atupe, but it wasn't really so. It wasn't. It wasn't about Kwame Adam Frimpong. It was Empem Da Costa who decided to step on um, that is Alfred who was lying down on the turf, and then the referee decided to show him the second book of all offense. So it was a right call and a right decision from Charles Bulu and. Um, his uh, assistant, but uh, the Kotoko fans, uh, judging from the history they had with uh, Charles Bulu see, some seasons ago, believe that it was just there to try and mess up their party for them. So they decided to throw objects at um, the referee and then um, his assistant line through whom they felt that he was just raising the flag in, 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 in um, a way to get us into Kotoko, having that fluidity they had in their attacking game off. So that was that was that was the main reason behind uh, the disturbances in the stadium. And unfortunately, uh, some fans nearly got into the inner perimeter with one as they managed to break uh, one of the stadium, uh, the Barbara gates. But it was believed that it wasn't properly locked by the security personnel. The police, together with the fire service, made sure that uh, the fans were pushed away and everything was sorted uh, after 10 minutes of uh, the game being halted from the 77th minute to uh, the 87th minute.